Hi, it's Richard from Gunfit Adventure. We we're away this weekend and we want to do a little video to show you our camping setup. We've got the airliner expedition with us this weekend and we're on a site that doesn't have any facilities, so no toilets, no showers. It's got electric hookup, but no, no facilities like that. So what we're using this weekend is the, uh, the dual car ensuite tent and we're also using the dual car nomad setup. So we'll take you through what that looks like and sort of how it all connects up. The last time we did a dual car video and showing you how the, the, the gas heater worked and how we used it when we were camping, we were back in Australia. And it was the early version of the hot tap, uh, the gas boiler. And now, of course, we've got the new version and we're back in the UK. So we'll show you how the setup works here. Let's go and have a look. So we've got the, the ensuite tent just here and um, show you the inside tent. It's a double ensuite, which is really good. It's really handy for us. So what it means in this side we've got the toilet tent so we've got the porta potty all set up in there and uh, step inside you've got like a little laundry bag on this side so you can pop some clothes and things in there and you've got various windows come down give you a little bit of mesh a little, little bit of air in you've got a little hook up here you can pop your your towel on your clothes and little pockets going on down there you can pop your toilet rolls in things like things like that so this area we tend to keep is the the dry area and um, good area sort of um, for getting changed before you go in the shower and just through this door here you step into the shower so come and have a look in here so this shower cubicle and again we've got ventilation just here so we can open the window there and uh, up on the top here we've also got this is quite nice you can open that and nobody can see in and to let the ventilation when you're in the shower the shower heads just clipped in to the top of the tent here uh, this is the the shower head that comes as part of the the hot tap nomad kit that we've got and then it works its way down through the shower little clips and this is the hose that comes with it as well it comes down and it heads out through the little hole at the bottom there and and then it goes off off to the hot water boiler so just in terms of the shower when you're in here using it, we'll show you it on in a sec, but there's just a little switch on the shower head and you can just click that switch and then you're good to go. That's it, as sim simple as that. So the, the ensuite tent, it just packs down a little bag and it all clips up, so it's a, it's a pop-up. So literally you just pop the legs up, it springs into place, these joints here, and then the tent just springs up on these little, little knuckles there. So it's very, very easy to put up. Pop your little pegs into the bottom, and then you've got some guys that fit into these little pockets here as well, which is quite nice. So we've been using, we were using the old version of the, the ensuite tent for many years, and now we've got the new version, and um, is using that one, and um, it's as good, good as the other one was before. So if you come down here, and I'll show you the, the setup of the, the, the Nomad kit, so there's different different kits you can get for the uh, the hot tap for the boiler from dual car and they come with different accessories and this one's this one's the nomad kit so it does come everything in this blue box here so the blue box turns itself into a sink which you can see has also got a tap on it as well but you get everything tucked into that box so you see the hot water boiler goes in there the stand that the boiler's on and the taps the shower the hoses all your connectors Everything you need to set up is stored inside that blue box. And um, even if you don't use it as a sink, you can have everything stored in there when you, when you take it away. And just starting with the, with the sink. So in here, you've got a little bung in the bottom there. So you can actually drain, drain the sink off. And there's a one on, on the outside as well. And then on the back here, we've got the tap that just fits in, just like that, on a, on a little clip. So that's the clip there, and um, and that's it. Literally, we've just got a little switch on the side. If we turn that on, the boiler fires up, pushing the cool, heating the water up, and there we've got hot water. Simple, simple as that. Now, in terms of how it works, you come down and have a look at the boiler. So, this is the stands that uh, the boiler, the the gnome, comes with the Nomad kit. And on the front here, we've got a um, the water pressure that we can turn up and down. And then we've also got 
the temperature and uh, when the boiler fires up you'll get the, the temperature uh, little, little LED light on there. Now it's got a couple of D cell batteries in um, to do the ignition and to also power this little screen here as well. Now the connectors on the back we've got three different connectors one is for the gas for the, uh, the gas boiler to work and that's fitted to normal propane bottle comes with the regulator and it also comes underneath it comes with a quick release gas connector so it's literally just pop the gas connector in pop it onto the gas bottle turn the gas bottle on and that's the gas side sorted out now in terms of the in terms of the pipes we've got this um we've got this blue pipe here now the blue pipe is the the cooled water feed coming into the boiler now there's, there's different ways of operating the boiler from the cold water you can plug it into the the mains mains water supply if you've got one and um and that's obviously very easy and the, what we're doing here is actually running the hot, the cold water pipe all the way down to this little stream that we're camping next to and if you see down in the stream there there's a blue little box that is the pump that comes with the nomad kit and you can buy that pump separately as well and uh, on the end there is a, a little filter that goes into the stream and uh, and also keeps the filter it's got like a little cowl around it that keeps it off the the stream bed so that creates a nice water flow in through the pump and the pump is capable of pumping i think it's 30 meters uphill of course you need to have the hoses to do that and we we happen to have a couple of spare hoses that's where i've got red hoses there from a, an older kit that we had but you can actually buy a um you can buy a, buy a blue extension pipe and um and then you can use that for pumping further further away now the little pump runs off 12 volts you do need to have a 12 volt power supply and that's just little 12 volts into the the pump and then it's a cigarette socket 12 volt supply the i've got a little extension cable so i'll pop that down there from the caravan and that's just powering the the pump down there at the minute so that's the cold water going in and then the red pipe coming out the back of the boiler it's coming out the back and it comes to this little junction down the back here and little junction this all comes as part of the nomad kit and comes out into the sink and then the next piece goes off into the into the shower so if you come down here and have a look at the boiler and i will i will turn on the tap and you'll see how it fires up so if i turn the tap on in the sink here See that you can hear the boiler igniting, firing up, and then you've got the temperature gauge there, and then it's just a matter of turning up the heat to what you want out of it. You can see that that well that, that is nice and hot now. So it heats up pretty sharpish, and then you've turned the turn the tap off, that's it, the boiler cuts off, shuts off, and that's it off again now. So it's a really good way if you've especially if you've got a, a water source like this then you can go and have a shower which we'll be doing next is popping in the shower and you can just you know you can use the showers as long as you want really that's a limitless supply of water coming down there at the moment um but the other alternative if you haven't if you haven't got a stream then what you can do is take a, a jerry can like this and um with this if you've got a if you've got a reasonably wide opening you can fit the um you can fit the, the pipe and the filter even into the, the jerry can or if you've got a jerry can with the little tap on the bottom where you can take out the bung and put a tap in that just screws off and actually in the um in the nomad kit there's a, a little adapter you can plug it on there and then you can literally pop your pump onto the connector at the bottom there so you've got a 20 liter little jerry can and you can just pump that through and, uh, and have a shower off that or use it for the used for the sink and another way to do it if you've got um we've got a water tank in the in the caravan here so if you've got an outlet on your caravan we've got a cold water shower outlet so another thing that we could do with the caravan is take a feed from the cold water shower outlet and plug that and that's got a pump the pumps you know there's no pressure in the caravan that can go straight into the, the hot tap without using the, the dual car pump so it's quite versatile in lots of different ways to use it um but it just means that if you're off somewhere where you haven't got any facilities you've got your nice on suite you've got your toilet you've got your shower and uh, and then the sink if you want to use that for, for washing your dishes pop the shower on just so you can have a look and see what it looks like 
You bring the jaw there. And then pop the shower on. See that's the shower. Nice hot shower. And then the water just runs off. You can see it's got mesh in the floor around the corners. And the water just is just running off into the into the gravel there at the minute. As simple as that. And then I can turn it off there. So that is the new uh, the dual car set. Uh, dual car is just pretty new to the UK, so only launched uh, last back end of last year, I think it was. And uh, but they've been going for a long time in Australia and also in the US as well. And they've got a few other countries now that they've actually added added to the list. But it's great they've come to the UK because now we can get these products direct in the UK. And uh, so if you pop over to dualcar.co.uk, you'll see all of this gear. And, um, and that's where you get it from. So thanks for watching. Well, that's Sarah just gone in the shower. I've just been in. Let's go and see how she's doing. How's it in there, Sarah? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah? Is it nice? Beautiful. Can we see you? Ah, oh, look at that. Nice hot shower while on camp. <laughs>